So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. So we're back, back in the windows. Windows are open. Uh, there's light coming in. So amazing. It looks really beautiful. I love that color blue on the screen. It looks really like such a beautiful blue. In reality, it, the blue is kind of different, but I, I like the blue that you can see. <laughs> um, so yeah, today toes, big toe, big toe. Yes, lovely. Feet, legs, and then into the hips and pelvis. How do we connect our pelvis and our hips to what we've been doing? Um, yeah, it's very exciting. I like this. I like this month. It's really, it's progressing in a very interesting way. So come sit on your mat and we shall begin. So sitting on your mat, just roll your feet. Mm, closing your eyes and feel what tells you you have feet. Mm, the difference in the movement between the two. There's definitely a difference. And then roll in the other direction. Maybe feeling how your legs are being moved by your feet. And I can even feel the movement into my spine. Like I, I have this feeling of slightly rocking forward and backwards. So just exaggerate the rocking of your body as your feet roll. And then roll in. Oh, I did turn on Facebook. Yes. And then roll in the other direction. And just feel that your body is being pushed by the motion or the movement of your feet. You're all connected. All connected. Like everything that you call you is connected to you. <laughs> it's amazing. So draw your feet towards you and then point your toes deeply. Feet towards you. Really pull the heat. So I feel this really strong feeling at the front of my ankles. And then point your toes feet towards you and then toes so both legs are forward in front of you and then lean back a bit and over towards the left and sweep your right foot up towards you and your knee is bent and your foot is flat on the floor and i feel like my right bum isn't quite on the floor as strongly anymore okay and then lean away from the leg and just move your leg like what ways could your leg move with your knee bent and your foot on the floor. And my foot is rolling. I'm rolling my foot in different directions. And nothing feels sore, but I can feel, oh, this is, this is not just like me sitting in a chair. This is something more, okay? But I don't feel sore. And if anything feels sore, then move your foot further away, make the movement smaller, adjust, adapt, create a movement that is good for you. Nice. Other side. So lean back towards the right and then sweep the left foot up towards you so that your foot is near your bum. Lean away and move that leg. And just feel, notice what's happening in your leg as you move your foot in a variety of different ways. Like what happens in your knee? What happens in your hips? Nice, stretch your leg out long. Same thing again, step the right foot towards you. And now you're going to have both hands either side of that left leg and move your knee from side to side. And you're gonna notice how moving your leg changes your lower back and pelvis. What's happening? Just bring your awareness into your pelvis, into your bum, into your lower back as you rock your foot forward and backward or rock your leg forward and backwards. Nice. Other side. Take your left foot back, bring it to the floor, hands either side of the right leg and then move your left leg. How does the moving of your leg affect your pelvis, your lower back, your belly? Like, what do you feel? How do you connect? What is there in this moment? <laughs> Super, both legs forward and then roll into your belly like a circle. So now we're moving the torso and our legs are staying steady. So how does this movement here change how you feel your legs? So for me, the weight is changing into the right leg and then the left leg. And, and as the weight changes, I'm stretching that leg more. 
So whatever way my, wherever my weight is, that's the strongest stretching point. Nice. And then roll in the other direction. Notice how you feel your pelvis moving on the floor. It's got this amazing engine feeling to it for me. <laughs> nice. Lovely. So bend both knees. So both knees are bent. Your feet are flat on the floor. And now tuck your right foot in so that it's lying sideways on the floor and lean your hand over both hands over towards the right and drop your torso down so that your nose is coming down towards your right knee. Nice. And then lift your head up a little bit and now rock your knee from side to side again. So again, how does moving your leg affect your pelvis and your lower back? So I'm leaning over towards the right, my hands are towards the right, and my left leg is moving. Rocking in and rocking out. The rocking in is really interesting and the rocking out is also really interesting. So where is my range of wellness as I do this? How far can I naturally go? Can I feel the rolling across my feet? the lengthening into the different parts of my lower back and pelvis as I rock my leg over and back. Nice, other side, bring both feet flat to the floor, tuck the left foot in, bring it sideways so it's resting on the floor, both hands either side of that left knee and draw your nose down towards your knee and then come halfway up. So I'm leaning into my hands, all the weight is off that right leg and now my right leg's gonna wave or rock from side to side and again i'm really interested in the full range but there's more sensation at the ends but i'm also kind of going what's happening in the middle as i bring my knee across rather than there being a nothing there's just less sensation so can i focus on less sensation rather than just the extremes of sensation. Mapping, perceiving, perception in our own body of our parts, different parts of us, our hips, our lower back, our pelvis, our knees, our feet, our shoulders, the whole lot, everything. <laughs> nice. Stretch both legs out long and just pause, just closing your eyes, feeling into your lower back, your pelvis, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your feet. Hmm. Pause. Let that slow down and settle into you. Oh, I'm just loving the light. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's so amazing. Oh, so much light. Nice. And then open your eyes and just wiggle your toes. Can you stretch your big toes apart from your other toes? Can you stretch your baby toes apart and then squeeze them all in? Open wide squeeze them in and i always have this feeling like i want to want to crack my big toes because i'm going to squeeze so hard it never happens but i have this really deep satisfaction in the squeeze of it squeezing in opening wide i can feel that my hand my thumbs are lifted trying to help me my right arm is lifted trying to help me and my face is making funny faces so notice in you what's the connection moving your feet what happens in the rest of your eye? Like something in the left side of my ribs lifts a bit to help me. <laughs> it's amazing. Nice. So see if you can relax those bits and still move your feet. I have to close my eyes, really focus, relaxing my thumbs, relaxing my ribs, dropping my shoulders. All the time I'm wiggling my toes and I'm trying not to recruit everything else into contraction to move my toes. Nice, right, relaxing more, really being aware of the patterns or the contractions that you're doing. One more time, wiggling your toes, relaxing. Oh, very nice. So great, so come into your cat pose. So just rounding your back, tuck your chin under, looking towards your navel. Pause there for a moment, really stretching through the back of your body. Lifting up through the navel, widening the shoulders. Nice, and then arching, pause there. Looking forward, 
arching. Nice. And then just move from one to the other, but move slowly. So you're feeling the end range really deeply, but also feeling the mid range, the places where there's not so much sensation. What can you track in the normalness of you? Often we just feel, oh, there now I'm stretching, and then nothing, 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 and oh, there now I'm stretching. So between the two, there's an ocean of sensations. How do you connect into what's happening between the arching and the rounding? So there's the normal baseline of movement in your body as you move, as you connect, as you listen. Super cool. So come to a neutral spine, stretch your right leg long so that your toe is on the floor and then push your toe into the floor, stretch through your leg and squeeze your right buttock and you'll feel the front of your hip engaging. Rounding your back deeply, draw your navel towards your spine or round your back and your navel will draw towards your spine. Tuck your chin in, look back down along that right leg. Squeeze your bum more, push your hip forward as you squeeze your bum. Nice change, relax that. Stretch the left leg long, surge down into the toes, stretch into the heel, lift the back of your knee towards the ceiling, squeeze your left buttock, and as you squeeze your left buttock, push down into your hip, round your back, tuck your chin under. So we're traveling in this wave of connection up from the feet. Feel the connections. I have to keep reminding my bum to squeeze. It forgets, it turns off, it goes, oh, I'm gonna turn off now. And it goes, oh, no, no, engage, engage. So notice the bits of you that turn off <laughs> and then down. And now travel from one side to the other, sending that wave of connection through your body as you travel. So foot, knee, hip, bum, pelvis, spine, chin tucks in. How do you move in this really deep and powerful way? can feel the back of my ribs and in between I'm arching my back it's this natural movement of as my knees drop my back arches and as my legs straight straighten I'm really rounding my back traveling from one side to the other connecting and one more time connecting nice bring your bum back towards your heels bend your elbows rest down into your child's pose Whichever version suits you this morning. I have a, some kind of a pollen allergy coming up. Interesting. So my head down doesn't feel all that comfortable. I'm going to keep my head high. It's very nice. And I'm just really settling into that. So as you breathe, can you breathe down into your lower back and pelvis? Notice the lengthening, the opening of the pelvis. And then the sinking and the weight as you exhale. Really feel the breath drop deeper and deeper down into your pelvis. One more deep breath. Nice, cool. Hands to the floor, push back, downward dog. So have a little bit of a moment of connection into your feet. Find those lines at the front of your feet when you wiggle your toes. And you see the lines, the ligaments down through the front of your feet that connect the deep muscles of your calf to your toes and so the reason why you have a calf is to move your toes more or less all the muscles in your calf are toe movers amazing foot and toe movers nice bending one knee stretch through the other and have that moment of squeeze push here how do you squeeze push here squeeze push feel your pelvis your lower back squeeze push feel your pelvis and your lower back Right, mm, squeeze, push, mm, squeeze, push. 
Nice. So drop your knees to the floor and come off your yoga mat. Come off your yoga mat for a moment and you're going to roll it up around three quarters, okay? So it's a tight roll. So when I'm you know, three quarters or so, I have this sense of if I was to lie on that, my back would have something to rest on. And this is quite a circle here, okay? So sit down on the thing and then come to lie on your back or whatever way you do it. Probably a better way than that. <laughs> and then what you're gonna do is, so it's not your lower back. My lower back is not on the rolled up yoga mat. It's my sacrum and my bum. So if I lift my leg in the air, my leg is directly above the rolled up yoga mat. So it's not my lower back. I don't feel any strain in my lower back as I do this. I'm just gonna wiggle around and find the place where you feel, oh, that feels really nice just there. And just pause. Nice. And then draw your right knee towards you and squeeze your knee up towards your chest. Noticing what's happening in your body. So we've changed the order of us. So our hips are higher. There's a gap in behind our lower back. What's happening in your body? What's different about this than normal or typical? I suppose feet to the floor. And then draw your left knee towards you. What's different about this as you squeeze your left knee up towards you? Nice. And then just begin to travel. Notice as you draw your knee up what's happening to the foot that's on the floor. I'm keeping my arms above me, squeezing a knee in, arms lengthen. Squeezing a knee in, arms lengthen. Well, I'm just traveling. So if this feels strong enough for your pelvis and your lower back, then stay here. Otherwise, begin to lengthen out the leg that's away from you, okay? Squeeze your knee in, lengthen or drop your foot to the floor. Notice how it's really obvious that the front of your hip is opening now. So can you squeeze your bum a little bit more. So as I squeeze my bum, I feel the pressure of my bum into the, uh, the mats behind me. Just feel that. Squeeze your bum as you lengthen your leg. And I'm really surging down into the toes. So I have the point going on. So my, the ball of my foot is surging away like I'm driving a car and I'm pushing down into the accelerator or the brake with my foot. So I feel that surge nice surge one more time each side and go slowly really listening to your body how is this to move with your hips a little bit higher nice and draw both knees towards you feel how that is and then bring both feet into happy baby so this could feel like it's an easier happy baby for you. So happy baby, so what's happening now is our knees are near our shoulders, so our bum is a little bit higher. Often it's, it's that our feet aren't available, but here my feet are really easily caught because my bum is a bit higher. So just feel that, holding on to the soles of your feet. Breathe into your belly and your pelvis. Nice. Stretch both legs up towards the ceiling. Roll into your ankles here. Big circles. And then roll in the other direction. Great. So you're going to slowly lower one foot to the floor and then the other. Lift your bum up and get rid of the mat from underneath your bum. And then land on the floor and feel, feel the sense of landing in your sacrum and your lower back right now. Really deepen your breath into your belly. Feel that sense of connection. 
Nice. And then slowly just sway your knees from side to side. As you sway your knees, feel that your pelvis and your lower back are being moved by your legs and that there is the end of range sensation. But there's also the, the, all the bits in the middle that you're trying to notice. So it's like as your knees travel back through the center, how does it feel in your knees and in your thighs and in your belly? Not only just the stretchy bits, but the moving, the less intense sensations, what's happening with them? Can you feel the whole of your body right now? Can you feel the way the weight of you is on the floor? Nice, stretch both legs long, hands on your belly and just breathe down into your belly. Pausing. Really feel that as you inhale, your hands are lifted by your breath. Oh, lovely. So what would you like to do to just maybe squeeze your knees up towards your chest, rock your knees from side to side, do a pelvic tilt. Um, yeah, um, oh, look at the light. Isn't that amazing? So amazing. It will all go backwards, though, when the clock changes. But that's okay. It doesn't go back that far. You know what I mean? It'll still be light and bright. And oh, so exciting. The light is coming in. The daffodils are blooming. The buds are on the trees. The bees are flying. And the eggs are everywhere. Oh, my God. There's eggs everywhere here at the moment. There's goose eggs <laughs> all over the place. Um, oh, the fox came yesterday. Um, so yeah, so it was kind of quiet for a while, no fox, maybe for the last two and a half months. And then yesterday it flew through the field, the garden, grabbed a chicken and went through. So yeah, so the fox is back. Yeah, we have to start locking them up again. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow uh, for more adventures into Emerge. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. Very deep and wonderful, uh, great journey of exploration this emerge thing that we're doing um so thanks see you tomorrow ciao ciao slon slon